Well, yay. We were supposed to leave tomorrow morning, Thursday morning this week, to go up to Wyoming to visit my daughter for her birthday in this black Impala that has 40,000 miles on it. And yesterday, somebody lost control of their car at a traffic light and hit my wife. She was just stopped waiting there doing nothing and all of a sudden this thing got tore up real good. This thing only has 40,000 miles on it. Well, it has 40 on it now. And uh, drives like a dreamer did. The both wheels are knocked inward, which means probably the struts are like a banana. And I don't think the person that hit her has insurance. It's not looking good. And um, this being a salvage title car, you can't get anything but liability on it. I do have the liability insurance on it, but just kind of a drag, you know. So uh, I gathered my thoughts yesterday, and before the wrecking yard closed, I went and got the parts that it's going to take to fix it. Luckily, being a black car, there's plenty of black fenders and things like that. So, I don't have to do paint work, but... I just got to drive it with that quarter panel all beat in. I don't have time to replace that. But I just don't want to rent a, do a rent car or any of that thing. Stuff, D knows how to drive these cars, so on the trip, we'd be able to trade off driving and everything. And sometimes rent cars, I don't feel too comfortable with her driving. So, I'm going to take a stab at real quickly putting this car back together and see if I can make it drive okay and we'll drive it up to Wyoming in the morning, hopefully still. But man, what a drag. I'm either gonna have to do a whole lot of bondo on that quarter panel or replace this stupid thing. Even my gaps are off now. so sad you know I not no kidding I hope to paint that car not too long but as long as stupid stuff like this keeps happening it's just that much further out you know you work your tail off getting something like this together and then you don't want to look at cars for a week or two or and then you have to regroup and think about where I left off at. I hope my aluminum uh, alloy wheels aren't warped. This one got hit pretty hard. Didn't get into the door jam too much. Those wheels are really hard to find. I will say this. These 2012, 2013 or newer Impalas have 300 horsepower. They drive really powerfully. They're awesome cars. As long as they don't get crashed into. Anyway, thanks for watching.